How you doing, hey, sir? What's going on, man? Wow. I just wanted to see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> well. I got my drink ready. I got my cigarettes ready. I got my fan on me because it's 10,000 degrees in this room. Because well, you're down in Mexico. Of course it's. Oh, man. <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I, I set up in my room where I have, I literally laid out, I'm laying on the bed. I set up a whole bunch of clean clothes on the bed to counteract any echoing. And I have the bedroom door closed. There's a glass door that I have a curtain in front of, light off everything. It's like not pitch dark in here, but the sun is right on the wall in front of me. And it's just oh, yeah. blazing in here without the fan. How do I feel? Well, you'll, you'll have to pardon any noise you may hear. I do live on a main road. And unfortunately, there's a lot of traffic that goes goes through here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even worried about that. But uh, anyway, so, I mean, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but this is a real thing. So this is the yeah. very first episode of Nonsensical Nonsense. I mean... This is this is a real deal, you know. Moving forward, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about it. I don't I don't know how you're feeling about it. Oh, I've been dreaming about this ever since I heard the first ever episode of Kevin Smith's podcast, and I was like, and I was always like, oh, I would love to do a podcast. And this is like <laughs> ten years ago. I would love to do a podcast, but who would I do it with? You know, and yeah. And, when we both found out that we buy, both like doing podcasts and talking endless hours of shit. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, and it's very easy for both of us. Lord, how many, how many times just in the last few weeks have we gone off on tangents for an entire day? You know? Well, my, my wife yelled at me yesterday because you and I wouldn't co- stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> just sending messages back and forth. Yeah, she'll have to get used to it. I mean, That's I, what I, said. I don't think we'll ever be on the level of Kevin Smith or anything like that. I mean, we're just two dummies. Well, never say never, but we are two dummies <laughs> that just like to rant. But yeah. I was explaining the concept of nonsensical nonsense to my mother yesterday. Oh, Lord. And, and you met my mother, well, I think, yeah. once. Once or twice. <laughs> yeah. A long, long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I and, think it was like graduation. Yeah, it was graduation day. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, Glick and I have known each other for, what, 24, yeah, 25, about 25 years? Yeah, about 25 years now we've, we've known each other. So And so I was explaining to my mother yesterday. I said, you know, Glick and I are starting this podcast. And she's like, okay, what's a podcast? I said, well, it's basically a radio show. <laughs> she's like that's perfect because you two idiots will just talk for days <laughs> and I said exactly she's like it's probably nothing I want to listen to <laughs> I mean yeah well, it's not like it's going to be anything it's not like we're going to go I said, like, I said well we're not going to go crazy <laughs> filthy I'm, I'm yeah. sure there's times we will but it's not our main goal Um, like for instance, we were talking about the Batman thing yesterday, and yeah, and so how, I out the new trailer. Did you see it? I'm actually, uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed, man. It looks like it's going to actually be good, right? I was like, you know, I saw it, and I mentioned it to you, and we went on a real rant there about the different Batmans, and of course, like we said, Keaton is king. Well, and that's because we're old, too. I mean, the older generation like us, we're going to automatically – Keaton is our Batman, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, actually, um, Zach, Zach Efron and um, Joe Rogan actually do a little speech about that in that movie Neighbors or Bad Neighbors or whatever, um, mm. where he's like, my generation's Batman is Keaton. And Efron's like, mine's Bale, you know. Well, if you, if you really want to get technical, our Batman is Adam West. Well, I, 
And sort of. Uh, he's the first. Yeah, we're not that old, but he, 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 you know, I remember as a kid before, you know, the, the, uh, Tim I remember, I, I remember, remember um, my being at a family reunion and my uncle had Batman on VHS. Okay, that, that, ate, that dates me a little bit. Yeah. And I think I was maybe, what, was it 89, something like that? And my cousins and I freaked out. We had to see it because none of us had seen it yet. And we freaked out and had to see it. Oh, yeah. And uh, about four or five years ago, I bought the DVD set of all, like, even Clooney, you know, uh, maybe 30 degrees at most. Mm-hmm. And to stop, we would run into a well, tree. Yeah. I mean, shit. Drop your feet and then run into the tree. Yeah. That'll stop it. Shit, I remember me and my friends. Uh, bent the forks on and had to beat a, beat the forks out with yeah. a sledgehammer. And then I, shit, I remember I remember me and my friends, we used to have, have BB gun wars. We'd shoot each other with fucking BB guns. I have oh, friends yeah. to this day that still have BBs lodged in their in their body oh, yeah. from us shooting each other or frozen paintballs. Like and I could not protect yourself, protect yourself. What did you do? You put on a jean yeah. jacket. And, uh, that would protect you yeah, from the and like now I could not imagine my kids doing that. Even like even like when the kids get the nerf guns out, I'm like, y'all don't shoot each other in the face because that <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that- I, I, think that, I think that's we're getting older because as a kid oh. you don't think about that. Because I remember shooting my brother in the nose with mm-hmm. a BB. Oh, I, 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 I yeah, I stopped my friends in the face with a BB gun or frozen paintballs. I mean, that was like that was always oh, wanted a shot <laughs> or a shot. Lest lest we forget, <laughs> lest we forget the 17 year old. Chris Glick <laughs> shooting Vincent Boring in the face with a fucking pressure washer. <laughs> I don't know how Vinny feels about you putting his name out there, but yeah, yeah, I think he still has that scar on his head too. <laughs> but, but I think that was just it's like that's just a kid thing. Like as an adult, we're like, what the fuck were we thinking? As a kid, you were like, yes, this is a good but idea. But in my defense, we were all taking turns <laughs> shooting each other's hard hats off with that new pressure washer. All right? Yeah. It wasn't, it, wasn't in, it wasn't vindictively. It was literally to knock the hard hat off uh, his head. Yeah, it's not my it. fault he flinched and got a knife to push off his head. He and a weave. <laughs> <laughs> I got a message. Vince, Vince, if you're listening, please send us a picture of the star on your <laughs> if forehead. If you still have it, <laughs> so we can put it somewhere where people can see it. Because oh right, we God. can put it where people can see it. I mean, we got nonsensical nonsense Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Instagram mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah, we'll put it on the Instagram page mm-hmm. and the Facebook page. This is be hilarious, but. Uh, Let's not even get started on some yeah. of the dumb shit that we did in that class alone. Oh my God. I remember <laughs> the, the crazy thing. There was a, the love hate, the hate hate relationship I had with, with Tom Tenney was this. <laughs> Tom, because I find yeah, that hard to believe. I think the one time I, I didn't, I smoked pot one time. And I'm not going to mention the guy's name, but he gave me a ride home. He went to yeah. Clifford with me. But he gave me a ride home. It wasn't in our class. Gave me a ride home. No, I think there was, there was only one pot in our class, and we all know who he was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Anyways. But he gave me a ride home. We smoked, you know, and I, as a, as a cigarette mm-hmm. smoker, if I you hand me something to smoke, I'm going to smoke. I'm not gonna puss out, right? Well, I mean, I wouldn't so live I, by that 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 rule in life because <laughs> well, not knowing, but yeah, well, exactly. But like Got my this cock here, my, smoking. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I ain't no pussy. I <laughs> smoke <laughs> cigarettes. Smoke that motherfucker! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What are we doing again? <laughs> but but uh, I had never smoked pot. I you know I've been around these guys, fucking my almost mm-hmm. my entire life, and they're like, "Oh, you want to smoke pot?" I'm like, "Sure, why not?" 